The Washington Post reports that as the Food and Drug Administration considers whether to approve genetically modified salmon, one thing seems certain. Shoppers will have a hard time determining whether the fish in the grocery store is genetically altered with no label to guide them. Despite a growing public demand for more information about how food is produced, the FDA says it cannot require a label on the genetically modified food once it determines that the altered fish is not materially different from other salmon. Perhaps more surprising, conventional food makers say the FDA has made it difficult for them to boast that their products do not contain genetically modified ingredients. The labeling question has emerged as the FDA determines whether to approve the fish, an Atlantic salmon known as Aqua Advantage that grows twice as fast as its natural counterpart. The decision carries great weight because while genetically modified agriculture has been permitted for years and engineered crops are widely used in processed foods, this would be the first modified animal allowed for human consumption in the United States. Consumer advocates say they worry about labeling for genetically engineered beef, pork, and other fish which are lining up behind the salmon for federal approval. Marion Nestle, a professor in the Nutrition, Food Studies, and Public Health Department at New York University says, quote, the public wants to know and the public has a right to know. I think the agency has discretion, but it's under enormous political pressure to approve the salmon without labeling. The biotechnology industry is opposed to mandatory labeling, saying it will only bewilder a public that is not well informed about genetic engineering. David Edwards, director of animal biotechnology at the Biotechnology Industry Organization, said, quote, Extra labeling only confuses the consumer and makes it harder for consumers to make their choices.